Hey friends, happy Sunday and happy first day of fall. I love celebrating the season changes because they are a reminder of God's work all around us, but also a reminder of the seasons in our own lives. A reminder that nothing ever stays the same. Everything is temporary. We're all on our own paths and we're in our own seasons of life. And that is awesome. I'm going to read you something from Ecclesiastes. This is from chapter 3. It says, To everything there is a season and a time for every matter or purpose under the heavens. What I love about that is that it's saying every season, every season has a purpose and has a reason. It's not for nothing. It goes on to say, A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. It, it doesn't mean that these things can't happen simultaneously, that we can't mourn and dance, or we can't weep while we also have seasons of laughing, but it means that these things will have seasons. We might find ourselves in seasons of sorrow or sadness or seasons of joy and laughter and dance. It just means that these things ebb and flow. Life is always changing. Nothing ever is going to stay the same. So think about the season that you're in. Some of you all are in your first or second year of college. Some are in your first year of middle school or perhaps your last year of high school, or even somewhere in between. And you're all in a different season of your life, and there are lots of things going on externally and internally. And some of the season that you're in, people on the outside who don't know you very well may not even know about. But I want you to remember that the season is for a reason. So whether you find yourself in a season that feels challenging, um, maybe this is a tricky season, this is a challenging season, or maybe you're in a season that's kind of smooth sailing, it's going pretty well. Remember, nothing stays the same, everything is temporary, but the season is for a reason. We do not have to wait until we get out of the mud to grow and be good. No, we have to grow through the challenging parts, okay, that's part of it. And we can ask God to help us grow. And I'm going to tell you a story from my own life um, as an example. So when my mom died, she died on December 4th. So a couple weeks later was winter solstice, uh, which was the first day of winter. So I went outside that night and I stood under the moon and I just prayed and talked to God. And I said, God, please help me to grow through this season of darkness. Please open my eyes to see what I need to recognize and heal so that I can grow through this, grow, grow me through this. Because it wasn't lost on me that the darkest time of my life was coinciding with the darkest season here on earth. That was not lost on me. I don't believe in coincidences. I took that as a sign to lean into the season that I was in, to trust that it was not for nothing, there would be a reason for it, and I could grow from it. I'm going to read you something now from Genesis. This is Genesis chapter 8 verse 22. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. What I love about that it's just a reminder for as long as this world exists, these seasons are necessary. Seasons of life are necessary. Seasons for the earth are even necessary. And it's never going to stop. It's just part of it. And we grow with the changes and we ask God to grow us and we're never staying the same. And that's an amazing thing. So to continue celebrating fall, Miss Lisa and Miss Grace have some fun games for you guys um, and a craft. Uh, they'll have all the details, but um, it's a sun catcher. 
So once you guys take this home, maybe stick it in your window, in your bedroom, maybe put it in the uh, cup holder in your car, just as a reminder that whatever season that you're in, if we let God's light shine through, it can make this season so much better and more prosperous for us. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night together. I'll see you in a few days. Bye.